Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. We begin with our opening responses. The world belongs to God. The earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful. To live together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. among us God give us life let your people rejoice in you give us again the joy of your help with your spirit of freedom sustain us God make our hearts clean restore us in body mind and spirit let us pray And now we have our prayer of confession. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Be 
before God with the people of God. We confess to turning away from God in the ways we want our lives, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We now have the response of faith. With the whole church, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God forever at work in ourselves and the world. Psalm 145 I will praise your greatness, O God. I will bless your name forever. Every, Every day, day I will praise, praise you and, and honour your, your name, name without ceasing. God, you are great and deserve our praise. Your glory is beyond our understanding. Each generation shall speak of your worth and celebrate your goodness. I will meditate on your wonderful work and consider what you have done. God is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and constant in love. God's goodness and compassion are meant for all creation. God keeps every promise. God's ways are always gracious. God lifts up those who are falling and raises those bowed down. All eyes look to you, O God, who supplies every creature's need. God, whose ways are just and kind, draws near to all believers. Our mouths will sing out praise. God's name be blessed forever. Listen now in the reading of scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is taken from the book of John, chapter 12, starting at verse 27. Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? No, it was for this very reason I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd that was there and heard it said it had thundered. Others said an angel had spoken to them. Jesus said, This voice was for your benefit, not mine. Now is the time for judgment on this world. Now the prince of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to show the kind of death he was going to die. The crowd spoke up. We have heard from the law that the Messiah will remain forever. So how can you say the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Then Jesus told them, You are going to have the light just a little while longer. Walk while you have the light before darkness overtakes you. Whoever walks in the dark does not know where they are going. Believe in the light while you have the light so that you may become children of the light. When he had finished speaking, Jesus left and hid himself from them. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, 
for the word of God within us. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We will take what you offer, we will live by your words, we will love one another and be led by you, Lord. We will take what you offer, we will live by your words, we will love one another and be led by you, Lord. We will take what you offer, we will live by your words, we will love Collect for Lent. O Christ, who entered into the lonely desert and who, facing hunger, danger, and temptation, did not turn aside but affirmed the way of self giving love, strengthen us to resist the false attraction of easy answers, magic fixes, abuses of power and the delusion that there is any way apart from justice in which God's justice can be done. Amen. On the fifth day of the month, we pray for Christian education and retreat centres in our own countries. We pray for Malta, Italy, Vatican City, San Marino, France, Monaco, Spain, Portugal and Andorra. We lift before God this morning today the members belonging to the family group of five. Morag Balfa, Jim Burley, Carol Morton, Alan Smart and Isabel Carr Smart, Robert Stewart, Ian and Isabel White. On the fifth day of this month, we pray for associate members in the Netherlands. Walk with them today, O God. And keep us on your way. Ever present God, set your blessing on us as we begin this day together. Confirm in us the truth by which we rightly live. Confront us with the truth from which we wrongly turn. 
We ask not for what we want, but for what you know we need, as we offer this day and ourselves for you and to you. Amen. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We, we will, will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings, offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek, seek peace and, and pursue, pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God, God in community, holy and one.